Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla Dawn of Ragnarok video. In this episode we are gonna go through all of the mythical memories and this is how you get your Iron Raven or Mechanical Raven. This video includes all of the cutscenes so if you don't want any spoilers it is best to skip these parts or this video completely so you have been warned. Otherwise enjoy. Loki had failed once in his attempts to ruin the work of Sindri and Broca, but he had a mind to try again. Again he bit Broca, and again, over and over until the dwarf could stand it no more. But stand it he did, outlasting the full extent of Loki's mischief. Draupnir, a ring of gold from which eight more rings would fall like rain every ninth night. A font of endless wealth for Asgard's most righteous lord. My Jotun brother would have one last chance to spoil the works of Sindri and Broca. If he failed, it would cost him his head. an anvil on which the greatest dwarven smiths worked their art. <laughs> Evil D's sons had made three mighty gifts for Loki, but my brother wanted more. So he went to their rivals, Sindri and Broca. If he won, he would keep the gifts. If he lost, they would take his head. But Loki had no intention of playing by the rule. He transformed himself into a gadfly and set about biting Broker in the hope of distracting him. But Broker did not flinch, and their work was a wonder. A boar of living metal who gave off light in the dark ran faster than any horse, Gullinborsti. Golden hair of Sif, wife of Thor. Why Loki cut it off, only Loki knows. But Thor was less than pleased. Loki wisely chose to make amends. A new head of hair for Sif, finer than the last. And so he set off for Svartalfheim. At Loki's request, evil these sons made for him tresses of the purest gold, which would fix the Sith's scalp and grow as real hair would. Loki had what he needed, but now that he'd seen what the Mastersmiths of Svartalfheim could do, he wanted more.
to which all other hammers must yield. Broker and Sindri had made two gifts that outshone the works of the sons of Ivaldi. Now they meant to make their masterpiece. Mjolnir. Giant's Bane. A hammer that could level mountains, and that never missed its mark when thrown, and always returned to the hand of its owner. A third time they set about the forge. It had to be kept at exactly the right temperature for their work to be perfect. And yet again, Loki visited as a fly. So desperate to make Broker fail, he bit the dwarf's eye harder. This time, he did not fail. The hammer was flawed. The handle, a fraction too short. Yet even so, we judged the work of Sindri and Broker superior. Loki lost his bet, and his head was forfeit. Few would have mourned the death of Loki. <clears throat> but of course, the trickster found a way to go back on his word. A tale for another time, perhaps. with the craft of the Dwarven Smiths, Loki sent them to fashioning great gifts to bring to Asgard, win back the favor he had lost. Skidbladnir, best of all ships, beloved by the wind, big enough to carry all of Asgard's finest into battle. Small enough to fit into a pocket. This would be Freya's gift. It pleased him well. With such gifts, Loki find forgiveness. My brother always knew how to win hearts. To him, it was almost as easy as breaking them. For this last one, my data, my material was corrupted, and right at the loading screen, I just get this cutscene, so there's no location, but this will be the last anvil medical memory on your map, and we will get back to Raven when we get it. Gungnir, a gift from Loki for the Lord of Asgard, forged of sunlight and strong Asgardian metal. The tip of the spear was carved with runes to guide its path. Gung 
Ragnir never missed its mark. Now Loki had the three gifts he needed to win his redemption in Asgard. Sif's hair, Gunknir, and Skithbladnir. But already in his mind a plan was hatching. Three gifts was not enough. Nothing more today. I have to go. See you soon. Survey. So this is quote unquote free. Of course, the DLC is must. But in the DLC, you can get this by doing the side missions, and I actually did like that aspect much, much more than just Ubisoft handing everything to us. So there was some point of doing all of that. I'm pretty happy with that one. The Raven. It looks awesome in my opinion. Not sure if this is one of my favorites or how long I will be using this, but definitely it is not wasted. Thanks for watching, remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one, Skatha, over and up, and bye bye.